good morning people this is day number 20 and i'm sleeping outside just like this because i found two individuals from deutschland that have changed my mind on how to sleep and to sleep out underneath the stars it's it's definitely a thing i like it so yesterday the uh the kayak thing was a bust. I weigh too much. And my stuff weighs too much. I got out into the got out into the sea and then it started sinking. <laughs> and this wasn't good. Um, just a tiny bit of just a little bit of waves. We're talking like this much in height made all the difference. And they started coming over the side. And it was windy and the kayak kept turning in ways I didn't want it to. So it started to kind of capsize in a way, but forgive me, this is my alarm clock. There is an Italian man on top of the cliffs over there and he's just yelling at his phone. I don't know why they do this. Uh, it was about seven days ago, it was up at three o'clock in the morning, I think, because there was two Italian men on a fishing boat just yelling at each other out in the middle of the sea and yet I could hear them. So, um, I'll introduce these two guys here in a minute, even though they're kind of sleeping. Both of them run a YouTube channel, and it's the first time I've experienced anybody actually making YouTube videos. Um, they're kind of doing the same thing, they just they travel to different spots across Europe, and, and they do it in a minimalist way, which is a small backpack, the clothes I got on, and they just sleep on the ground well with their sleeping bag and they make it work but i checked out the channels and it's it's some funny stuff they got some got some things going on uh and yes yeah, so i packed up the kayak at the small marina i just kind of left it there um it's just it was useless i'm not gonna try that again even though it was a cool idea to float around um just late, yeah. You know, just it wasn't gonna work out. Um, what else? Oh yeah. So as I did the walk last night uh, further south, I came across David and uh, Andreas, and um, it's a good thing uh, we we just perfectly timed the the meetup as they're going north and I'm going south. I take my headphones out to just say hello. Come to find out, like I, I could, I could see this. They're doing something, and it's something that I'm interested in. I don't know what. So I take my headphones out and I say hello. And I come to find out they're going to be traveling to Mount Etna, and that their plan was to do it today. So I'm going to join them, and we're going to actually go up to this volcano. We might spend the night up there. It'll be the three of us, and it should be an amazing time. So with that said, this morning's prayer, forgive me for not getting out of bed, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord Jesus, today, I ask for protection for all three of us. To get to our spot and back safely. None of us have ever walked on top of a volcano, and we're not looking to, well, <laughs> fall into any crevices or get burnt alive. That's a thing, because this is an active volcano. So I ask for protection, I ask for your blessings, and I claim the blood of Jesus over all three of us. Wash us all clean, give us a fresh start, as well as my viewers as well for this channel. Um, thank you. Amen. All right, back to you guys. I'm sorry. There's still the Italian guy up on the cliff. He's still yelling at his phone. I don't know why they, they, they just love doing this. Um, oh, now the clouds are starting to come out. All right, I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. So the clouds are starting to lift, and there's a mountain way off in the distance, probably about 30 to 40 kilometers. And it's got snow on it. And I didn't really plan for snow, but I think I have a gear to do it. 
Um, actually, I learned that in you know, the walk from Frog on how to deal with snow without without the right stuff. And it's Mount Etna, which is awesome. All right, now for the introduction. We have Good Morgan, <laughs> Dave Goldman, I'll, two N. I will give the links at the uh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, when I get Wi-Fi a little bit later. And there's Andreas over there. Oh, we're matching blue. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good sign. I In see. the middle of a blue sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> up there is the guy that's been yelling at his phone that woke all three of us up. <clears throat> all right, check this out. Oh, let me get out of this cocoon. Hold on a second. Yeah. There he is. All right. Yeah, this is this is how we slept. It's pretty good. <laughs> I like the way they do things. All right, here's the view, and off in the distance, that's Mount Etna that has snow on it. I did not think I was gonna find snow in Italy, Italy, Sicily, for that matter, but we're gonna do it. And. Yeah, this is the shoreline. How beautiful is that, guys? When I'm done, I'm coming back to this spot, and I'm going to camp out for a number of days. This is this is just amazing. All right. Well, that is this morning's introduction. I forgot what day it is. 19, no, 20? Yeah, day number 20. Every day is an adventure. And as I've said before, guys... The invitation is on the table. Whoever wants to make the trip out here, just come, well, I'll find you, and we'll do this together. Um, the packing list is now on my page. Just follow what's on that packing list, and you guys are good to go. All right, check out.